Put the baby in the box. To put the baby in the box. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Hello gorgeous, it is Protag and welcome to Life After Us The System. You may remember I played the last Life After Us game which was called Shipwrecked and it wasn't very good. So we're going to try this one. Apparently they're based on Edgar Allan Poe and HP Lovecraft stories but uh, the last one, all it had in it reference wise was like a shit Cenobite from Hellraiser so what that's even, that's, that's a completely different order, that's Clive Barker to begin with so I I don't really know what the point of the game was, but we, we, we'll just play this one and give it another chance, shall we? Let's go in this room and play it. I have been tasked with retrieving the granddaughter of Mrs. Hemington. I have been told the girl is in her late twenties, but due to her mental illness, she has the mind of a child. She is believed to have returned to Hawthorne Sanitarium, where she was once a patient. I will search the asylum for the girl and return her safe, probably. <laughs> Not once I've got my hands on her. Especially if she's a lunatic. Hello. Who's who's home? Anybody home? Anybody home? There's blood on your floors. You need to employ a cleaner. All right. What's so? What's the deal then? What's happening? What's what's this note here? There's a note here. Pick it up. Pick the note. Grandmother sent me here. She says I'm not being a. Oh, hang on. Grandmother sent me here. She says I'm not being a proper young woman. She says I'm acting like a child, but I am only a child. She gets so mad when I say that. This place is strange. All right. You damn right a strange girl. It's a haunted sanitarium. Okay. There's a load of chairs stacked up on the table like in Poltergeist. Poltergeist. That's the, the other way of saying that word. Oh god, where do I go? Follow the blood. Can't follow the blood. Follow the open doors. Is that a Oh, why is there like a sh like a ray of light? Is that a tripwire? No, it's not a tripwire. Okay. I made a new friend today, Dr. Tar. He says I'm very pretty. He kept touching my hair. He must really like it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't think he likes your hair, girl. I think he loves your your butt. He loves your booteous max. What's this say? Mr. Teddy should be here. Is he? Hmm, okay. Give me this note. Don't like it here. Mean woman took Mr. Teddy away. She said I'm too I'm too old for silly things like toys. He's not a toy, he's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him next to my bed. Find Mr. Teddy. Objectives updated. Oh, whoa, 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 now. I seem to have just discovered the jump button. Okay, that scared me. I seem to, seem to really exert myself when I jump. Yeah. I don't do things half measures, girl. I jump like my life depends on it every time. Bang! Hit my head on the ceiling! <gasps> Oosh! Yeah! Oh, Mr. Teddy. Give me Mr. Teddy, thanks. Thanks. Do you want Mr. Teddy back, girl? Here you go, it's Mr. Teddy. It's Mr. Teddy's back. Oh no. Oh, okay. I black out and upon waking I find myself still in the asylum, but something is wrong. The darkness surrounds me. I feel as if I'm not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. A soul? That's not a word. I must find the girl as soon as I can. That's a much better way to read it. Well done, Protag. All right, all the lights have turned off now. Things have got real. Things have become real. Dr. Tar told me I'm very pretty and that I'm not a girl. He said little girls don't have penises. He said little girls don't look as pretty as I do. He says I'm a woman. I'm a woman. I'm a man of woe. Okay. All right, who's, who's, why is the why are they emitting a very dim light? Who? 
Oh, I thought it was a different picture. It's not. It's the same picture. Dr. Tar came to visit me at night. He kept saying I was very pretty. Then he got in bed and on top of me. He kept telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. He got mad when I shouted in pain and he hit me. He visits me every night now. All right, girl. Oh, jeez. She wants me to be pretty. Okay. All right, so I need to find some... Well, first things first, I need to find you a head. That's, that's the first port of call. Then I need to find some foundation, some eyeliners. And then some nipples. Don't have nipples. Can't be pretty without nipples. That's what my old mummy always said. She always said, Liam, you can't be pretty without nipples. Remember that, son. It will serve you well in the darkest of days. Jane! No! What? Who's? Who's there? Stay over there. You're not welcome over here in my vicinity. You fucking stay away. I don't even know what it was. I didn't see it. I just jerked away like a girl. He gets so mad if I'm not pretty. He says my head is so small and pretty. I started bleeding after he came to visit me last night. I wish I could go home. Why are you writing these very small sentences on very large pieces of paper, girl? You should economize. Write all your notes on one piece of paper. So I don't have to search them around for all these fucking different papers. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Sup, gangster? What's up, brother? You got a you got an open mouth. I don't know if you know this. <laughs> You're right, gangster. You're fucking weird, get away. You're unusual, aren't you? <laughs> Fuck off! You fucking loon. <laughs> Go back to your room. Go back into your room, please, sir. You have a dis dislocated jaw. It's a serious injury, it looked like. Uh, oh, so I thought that was vomit. It's not. Okay, a note. Got another note. I told the doctor I keep getting sick in the mornings. He got so mad when I told him he hit me in my belly. God, this guy's an asshole. What's this say? What's this say? Why does my torch shrink? I can't read that. My torch shrinks. <laughs> Don't fuck off, you weird cunt! No, leave me alone! I don't like you! You're making weird sex noises. I don't like it. Reminds me of my uncle. <laughs> oh, it's uh, her head! I found your head, girl. I bet guess I should find my way back to you now. Where's he gone? Where's weird jaw bloke? Is she in here? No, she's not in there. She's in one of these other rooms. Which one is she in over here in there? Is it this one? Yeah, it's the one. Oh, 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 shit. Shh! No, stop whisp- No, girl, I don't like you whispering, girl. Oh, fuck off! Fucking Jesus Christ! Once more I awake in this place and there can only be hell on earth. There is something holding me here. It will not let me leave and something much worse is looking for me. I must find the girl and escape this hell. <laughs> oh, that scared me. That frightened me then. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting it to be right in the doorway. I thought it would be at least out in the corridor. Alright. What's next then on the agenda? What's next on the agenda? Are we going to find Dr. Rapey? Punch him in his dick? It's no less than he deserves. Bring him before Sir Illin Payne to be executed. As is customary. Girl, you're so pretty girl. You're looking for... You. Your face looks skinny. Are you eating well? Don't think you, you are eating too well. Alright, all okay. So this is the same bunch of corridors. Where's, uh... There he is! Hello! Hello, Nigel! Hello, Nigel, you're looking... You're looking unusual. Why the long face? <laughs> Hello! What's up, gangster? It's going down, G. You alright? What's up? How's the... Oh, okay. Carry on about your business, then. Oh, what's in here? He burns! Does he? Does he really, though? My baby was crying when Dr. Tar put him in the box, but the crying soon stopped when he set him on fire. I hate Dr. Tar. I hate him. Jesus, this is fucking grim. 
Good lord. It's like Game of Thrones up in this bitch. Alright. Over there. Alright. Don't scare me. Don't scare me, game. Don't frighten me. He took my baby. He burns. Did your baby? I found your baby, girl. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hello. You, you look. You look like you want a nice warm embrace. Let me hug you, girl. Let me hug you. Oh, you're dis <laughs> Oh, this is sad. This is such a sad yet somehow hilarious scene. You fuck off. You fuck off. I hear you scaring me. Don't you dare. Where do I do? Ah! Fucking piss off, Dr. Fucking Rapey. Go away, Dr. Rapey. With your hacksaw. It's not a medical tool. Even I know this. I'm an idiot. All right. So I put it in the box. Put the baby in the box. To put the baby in the box. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I now understand the horror this young girl went through while she was here. Such pain and suffering. To have been raped by such a monster and to have her child taken only to be burned alive. Why would she come back? I must find her if we are to escape. I'm pretty sure she might be dead and haunting the place. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there that you should perhaps leave <laughs> at the nearest opportunity. <sighs> okay, don't jump out on me, Mr. Fucking Long Face and Dr. Rapey. You fucking leave me alone. I want to read these notes. I keep screaming what he did to me and the baby, but no one cares. He wants to shut me up. Dr. Tar told me I'm very pretty and that I'm not a girl. He said, little girls don't have a penis. Don't look as pretty as I do. He says I'm a woman. I've already read that one, haven't I? Have I already read that? I believe I have. Fucking light this bitch up when I need to go. Yeah. He told me my grandmother... What was that? He told me my grandmother died today. He said she fell down the stairs and broke her neck. He said it with a smile. I know he did it. He turned into the stairs. He said no one will ever come for me now. He said he's going to lock me away. Stop making cockroach noises. He said he's going to lock me away in a dark room where there'll be no trouble for him ever again. I right, in this room, man? No, I've been an hour and that's the one with the baby with burning babies. Fuck off. No, you fuck off now. Stop. Alright, I'm gonna look at the ground and just... Oh, fuck it. Okay, girl. I was just going to run straight towards you. But that didn't work, so... No, oh, fucking... No, you... <laughs> what was going on then? What happened? That was the end? Oh, come on. You could do better than that. That was a bit better. It was like directing me on a route where I could be more easily frightened. But <laughs> what the? What in the name of God? Come on, you couldn't think of a better. You had a good story going then. You had a nice little story. Could have had me fight Dr. Rapey at the end or something like that. But no, no, I just go into a room with a disappearing girl and then she grabs me and spins me around in some sort of weird macabre tango dance and then. Back to the menu. Well done. Good job, game makers. Thanks for that. Maybe try and make the ending a bit better in the next one. <laughs> uh, okay, so that was Life After Us, the system. I'll put the link in the description uh, to the other video I made of, of uh, Shipwrecked, and I'll put the link to this game so you can download it if you want. And, uh, yeah, I suppose we'll wait for the next Life After Us game to come out, and uh, then, you know look forward to playing that one. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Love you, bye!